Hello and welcome to the summary of lecture 6 where we talked about stratigraphy and turbidites. So the highlight today will be on turbidites. So turbidites are subaqueous flows that start with a slope failure. Um, as sediment builds out, for example, at a delta front with the rivers bringing in sediment, the slope gets steeper and steeper um, because of deposition of the sediment and eventually uh, an earthquake or just over steepening causes collapse in a submarine debris flow that flows down the slope and that starts a turbidity current um, which extends down the slope with a, a dense mixture of sediment and water. As the slope um, decreases and um, flattens out the flow, the turbidity current starts to slow down and uh, sediment starts being deposited. Because of the turbulence, the sediments are not well sorted, and so the bottom layer tends to be massive and a mix of different grain sizes. As the flow slows down and becomes more dilute because sediment is being deposited, the flow regime goes into the upper planar laminated uh, flow, and the sediment grain size gets lower because you're depositing larger grains first and then it slows down until you get ripple cross lamination and uh, eventually a faint planar, la planar lamination as the fine sand and silt starts to settle out of suspension. Between turbidity currents you mostly have settling of mud that's in suspension in the water and you get layers of mud um, deposited and accumulated. So these, these flows occur typically in standing water um, to a large degree, for example, uh, lakes and oceans. And they're one of the um, important processes along many coasts that, that um, distribute sediments from the shoreline deeper out into the water. Um, okay, so there are very specific facies defined for turbidites. Um, they were defined by Bauma and they reflect the change in flow and the sediment deposited um, in the progression of a turbidity current. So if we draw a stratigraphic column, we have thickness on the vertical, and we use grain size on the horizontal axis. We have mud, fine sand, medium sand, and coarse sand here. Between turbidites or turbidity flows, uh, mud settles out from suspension. So if we start with mud here, typically a dashed pattern, um, being settling from suspension. And then the turbidity comes, flow comes through and it can be erosional. We often show that with a wavy line or sometimes it has flute casts or scour marks at the bottom. Um, and then, so you have erosion at the base. And then as the flow slows down, you start depositing sediment. And you often start depositing the coarsest sediment first. And then through time, the grain size decreases, as shown by this line here. This first part is usually massive. And the Bauma facies description for it usually A. As the flow slows down, um, there's less turbulence and the, the grain size becomes um, smaller and it's often in the zone where you form upper planar lamination. So we illustrate that with parallel lines and then we have dots uh, for the sandstone in both of these. And this parallel laminated zone is usually called the Bauma B sequence. The flow slows down more, and you start to get current ripples, which is Bauma C, and this often finer grained sandstone, still sandstone. And then as the flow slows down even more, you start getting into the silt sizes. And that's mostly settling out of suspension as opposed to being deposited in, in uh, the bed load. So you have the Bauma D sequence um, with a faint 
planar lamination. Now this planar lamination is due to the variations in grain size as the, the flying grains are settling out of suspension and it may look similar to the upper planar lamination but it's a different process. Often the lamination here is not as well defined as it is in this case. Then eventually the flow stops and the water is still again and you start to accumulate mud before deposition of the next turbidite. And that is called the Bauma sequence E and then the process happens again. So one of the things that's happened is that the, this is such a distinctive flow process that we have very standard facies defined for this type of flow. Thanks for watching.